What's up guys, today we're going to be installing a carbon fiber lip spoiler on the Genesis. Now you can see I already have it installed because I didn't do the intro before this but I'm doing the intro now. So what we did was put double sided sticky tape on it. It has two holes in it where you can screw it into the trunk but I did not want to do that because I don't want to drill holes in my trunk. So it's held on by double sided sticky tape so don't freak out. It will hold up, I promise. Okay, it'll be fine. It's not going to be flying off. It's some strong sticky tape, so it will be fine. I know a lot of people are going to freak out and say I should have bolted it down, but I don't want to drill holes in my trunk, and the sticky tape will do just fine, trust me, okay? So it's on there now. Looks pretty good. We're going to show you how we did that right now. So as we said in the beginning of the video, Ryan doesn't want to drill in his trunk lid. Um, he just doesn't want to do it. I don't, I, I personally, I would, just because you're not going to see it even if your paint does chip. But he doesn't want to, so we're using double-sided sticky tape. And he's putting that on right now. So he was test fitting Ryan's uh, spoiler. And you can see his trunk just, fit, or just fell down. Well, they have the trunk up and no one was watching it and it flipped up and his spoiler don't know if you can see see that right there his spoiler flipped up with the trunk and left a pretty nasty dent so yeah it sucks what do you think about that? Uh, Exactly, that's what I'm saying too. Yeah, you post a little marker. Yeah. Alright, I'm flying up. Test bit again. Doing some test fitting for a spoiler, getting some painter's tape. Yeah. Alright, you wanna go for it? So you wanna come in this way and then go down, right? Yeah, how do you think? That's how I Come on, come on. Alright, we're going for it. Hey, right, time to fill it off. Maybe. Got quite a bit to fill off. We'll get one shot at it. Alright, here it goes. I can swallow. I need to go over this way. Are you right? Yeah. You good? Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. How do you want to take your thing out? Go shut this thing. Make sure it's on there. Look good? Yeah. I think you saved weight putting that on. <laughs> yeah. It's on there good. Alright, so it's all finished up. Here's what it looks like. It is real carbon fiber. I don't know if we said that or not. See if it focuses here. It is real carbon fiber. It real. So it's on there right now. It was, uh, it's not hard to do, but it's kind of nerve wracking because if you put it on there wrong, you gotta take it all off and then you got a bunch of sticky stuff you gotta deal with, yep. so. Or um, this can happen, as yeah. I showed earlier. I'm glad we got it on there straight so we don't have to worry about peeling all the sticky stuff off there. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Gap is even on both sides. The only bad part is, if you can see that. I showed them earlier. There's a big ass ding right there, which I'm gonna have to get fixed. So, 
Okay. I wasn't a part of it, so I'm happy about that. It's Jake's fault. Yeah, Jake's fault. Jake's not here today, but it is Jake's fault. But so. coffee's not here. If Jake was here, there would have been someone to hold the trunk, and Jake wasn't here, therefore it's his fault. So, pretty much if anything happens that's bad, when we make videos or work on our cars or anything, it's always Jake's fault. It doesn't matter who did it, why, it's Jake's fault. That's just how it is. So type hashtag it's Jake's fault in the comment. Yeah. Jake should have been here, but yeah. In other words, Genesis is looking real good. Oh man, let's try to get a side profile on that. Why don't you show me your results? Okay. Are you gonna try to fix that today? So you can see it's nothing too aggressive, but it definitely does add to the uh to the car a little bit, makes it look a little bit more aggressive. Almost looks like black. Yeah, kinda. I will say I'm not impressed with the quality of this because if you look closely, I'm not, I'm not sure it'll show up on camera. See all those little dimples? There's a bunch of dimples. I'm trying to get it in frame here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but. You can feel the, a ridge on it over here. It's, it's supposed to be a ridge right here. No, like right here. There's like a ridge right here. It doesn't show up on camera. It actually looks pretty good on camera, but there is a couple air holes in here, and uh, just it's kind of wavy looking. So I mean, it is what it is. It's molded carbon fiber, and it's not OEM. So yeah, I'm sure it's hard to mold carbon fiber. But my advice would be to get either the painted version or just the regular black plastic and paint it yourself or do that. Does but it make a fiberglass one? No, it's a ABS plastic. So it's not really that big of a weight difference. It's more of, more of if you just want the aesthetics of carbon fiber, but you know, you do get that little bit of a botchy quality. But still looks good. Yeah, I mean, it looks good, but when you get close up to it, it does have some air bubbles, some imperfections. I was really disappointed in it, so my advice if you own a Genesis and you want this spoiler is to get the regular ABS plastic one or you can get the one that's already painted in the uh, collar of your car. Or you can just get a carbon fiber route. That'd be the yeah, you can do that. Go. You can just get the ABS plastic and use that's 40 carbon what, fiber. 50 bucks or something? For a wrap? Yeah. That's what we do. So yeah, that's just my experience. Hopefully you guys learned from that and uh, yeah. I mean it looks good. I'm not complaining but I definitely expected more for 300 bucks, you know what I mean? Yeah, that went for $300. I'm going to be getting something like that for my car, and it's going to be like $500, so I really hope I don't get something like that, but who knows. That's going to be the end of this video. We're getting ready to install some exhaust parts and a transmission mount, but that'll be in a separate video, which you guys will see mm, later this week. So make sure you check out our t-shirts in the description, send us some stuff to our P.O. box. We got three new packages since I was gone. Did we? Mm -hmm. We got an Amazon box. I'm afraid it's a dildo. It probably is. Yeah. So, send us some stuff in the mail Don't if you want to see. Us dildos. Yeah. If you want us to open stuff on camera, we're opening everything up on camera. So, send us some stuff. We'll open it through uh, P.O. box opening. Also, make sure you leave a like on this video if you did like it. It helps us out a lot. And we'll see you guys later. We call that balling. And this is my calling Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view Fall back cause I'm coming through With my whole team, they coming too That's real, too real Motherfucker, tell me how you feel I'm too good for my own good I won't leak the album, I let it spill Number one, bitch, I